Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Tom Spark and today we're going to be doing sort of a visual tutorial and we're discussing the difference between HTTP proxy and SSL proxy. So we're going to be doing it kind of visually today. So with a basic uh, HTTP proxy we have here, this is going to be kind of like the data um, that is going back and forth between you and a website. So essentially here we have HTTP and with HTTP proxy, you're going to have an anonymous IP address. So anonymous IP. This means that no websites are going to be able to track your real world location. They're not going to be able to target you with targeted ads. And they're not really going to know who exactly you are or where you're coming from. But if they do want to, uh, someone from an outside source does want to look at this traffic, they can pretty much see what is there. Now with an SSL encryption proxy, we have actual encryption through secure socket layer. So not only are you gonna get that anonymous IP as well, but you're also going to have encrypted data. So this is just a simple visual um, illustration. With HTTP proxy, you're gonna get that anonymous IP, um, but your data is not gonna be encrypted. And with that SSL proxy, you're going to have encrypted data as well as an anonymous IP. So depending on your use case, SSL encryption uh, proxy is going to give you a little bit slower uh, of speeds and HTTP proxy with that anonymous IT IP isn't really going to slow your speeds down really at all. Now, of course, SSL encryption through this anonymous, uh, you know, um, proxy is not going to really give you uh, too much of a speed decrease, but something to keep in mind. So anyways, guys, Let's go ahead and discuss which options you have for a uh, proxy to use and why you should use one. So guys, if you want to use an anonymous proxy with your web browser, um, this is a pretty good solution. Now, it's not going to be quite as secure as a VPN, but let's say you want to use a web browser specifically to remain anonymous while you're doing things on your web browser, maybe outside the web browser, like for gaming or something like that. You don't really need security or anonymity. Um, so we're going to have a couple options here for me to check out. We have TorGuard, ExpressVPN, and we also have, you know, private internet access. So TorGuard VPN is, of course, my top rated VPN, which I'm going to recommend the most. You get it only for $5 a month with code BEST10VPN. And if you sign up for a year, you can get it as low as around $2 a month, which is really cheap. Um, so TorGuard SSL proxy is really good to use. You can see the uh, SSL proxy added onto Chrome already right here. We have a couple different options. You enter in your username, you pick the country, and you can pick between two types of encryption being HTTP and SSL. Now SSL is gonna give you that encryption um, to protect your traffic while you're browsing, but it's gonna be a little bit slower, whereas HTTP just gives you an anonymous IP without that encryption. So depending on your use case, there are some good options there. Now it's gonna show your current IP, and when you do connect, it's gonna change your IP, so that's how you know you have a new anonymous IP. So there's one option. Now ExpressVPN and private internet access is gonna be pretty similar in how they work, um, but they're just a little bit different VPN services. ExpressVPN is around $13. It's really polished and good for noobs, whereas private internet access is $6.95 and a pretty solid VPN as well, but perhaps a little bit more questionable than either of these two since Roger Ver is on the advisory board and a lot of people complain that they do have a lot of blacklisted servers. Um, so I would go with TorGuard VPN if you're looking for a secure SSL proxy option. And anyways, guys, go ahead and click on the links down in the description below if you want to support the channel and check out one of these um, you know, proxy options for your browser. Thanks for checking out this video that gives you an explanation between the difference between HTTP and SSL proxies as well as which options there are to use for those. Anyways, guys, see you on the next video.